In today's van build episode, we're gonna be sharing with you how we turned our empty cargo van from this to this. Hey, we're Sally and Ed, and over the past few months, we have been self-converting this empty cargo van into a tiny home on wheels so that we can travel the big lap of Australia. Neither of us had any building experience prior to starting this conversion, so it has been quite the adventurous few months. And with 2020 quickly coming to an end, we need to get a rig along with this build as we're leaving to travel Australia on the 1st of January. That's in 30 days, friends. So I want to start off by saying that when we first started the project of paneling the walls, that we thought that it was going to be a really super simple, easy project. You know, the kind of project that we could like get done in a day. Moment of truth. See if we can make it clickety clack. We have to! Yeah! And it's lit. You can tell we're rookies because look at this distance. The wood stops here and this starts here. So these two pieces are both too short. It took so long to get three panels up and now we have to take them all down and cut them again and put them back up. Look at this. I think it actually ended up taking us about a week. I thought that I would share with you the experience of us paneling the van and hopefully kind of share with you some tips along the way so that if you ever try to do this yourselves, It'll be easier for you. Today is a very, very, very exciting day. What are we doing today? And we're gonna try and start <laughs> putting. <laughs> we're gonna start putting up the roof paneling. So we've got all of our wiring done. We're going to chuck it up all out of the way and start putting the panels on the roof. So we're very excited. It's wood paneling day. It's wood paneling day. A bunch of wood arrived for us yesterday, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of wood. And right now I'm feeling like maybe it's too much wood, but it doesn't matter because we're going to put some of it on the roof today. So you see all this mess, well, not really mess, but like all these things, they're all gonna be hidden. Well, not these things, but all of these things are gonna be hidden today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold the other side of that tape measure. You look like you're struggling there, my No, friend. I've got this because my tape measure skills have improved like immeasurably since the beginning of this van project. Look at this. Hey, look, he's got the van building skills. Guys, can we please get a like for Ed's measuring skills? Okay, So the Madeline stuff that we're using is a vapor barrier, so it's not an extra type of insulation, but what it does do is it acts as a vapor barrier, so it protects the van from any condensation that might get in through the walls, or out through the walls. It basically protects the van from any type of condensation, and Ed has just applied some double-sided sticky tape to help it stick to the ceiling because the madeline itself is not sticky it's basically just like a piece of alfoil like it looks like honestly like we have one big roll of alfoil so we're gonna stick that up now and then wood panels okay. what's the tape for you wrapping up a christmas present no, so this is like a Madeline tape, which is really good for filling gaps and plugging any holes. So in the van, like we already just a screw sort of hit this and put a hole in it. So this tape is good for like patching it up. So that's, this is the bit we're sticking along here along. Like this? Yeah. After we've done the Madeline, we're then gonna start with just one wood panel. I know, just one, one to begin with, and we're gonna make sure that the wood panel is perfectly center. From all the research we've done, everybody says, you know, you start with the first one, and the first one is really hard, and that one takes you ages to do, and then after that, it kind of just comes together. The ship has been completed. We're going to Mars. Are you excited? We're going to yeah. Mars. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Full stop! I think we got the whole roof on today. Oh my gosh. No, we are getting the whole roof on today. All right, I'm just gonna place this on top here. Our roof's going in! More in 
enthusiasm. Roof going in. We just gotta make sure it's so straight. You know, I'm just a bit, because like, if we put the first piece in crooked, and then we work off the first piece that's crooked, then the rest of the roof's gonna be crooked. Whereas if we put it in straight, you know, we don't want a crooked roof. So, you know, there's a lot of pressure on this first piece. It'll be fine. You're gonna be great. You're overthinking it. We'll see. Yeah, right. You say that, and now when we have a crooked roof, you'll be like, oh, I wish I didn't rush him. I'm not rushing you. All right, come on. Right. Mistake that we made when putting the amatolin on. We didn't mark out where the center of the van was and where all the metal things are, and now they're all covered up, and now we gotta kind of figure it out. So, pro tip from what we've just learned. <laughs> mark it out first. All right, let's feed this through. All right, that is center. One ceiling panel down. I don't know, 50 to go. All right, moment of truth. See if we can make it clickety clack. Ready to go? We have two! Yeah! Yes! Yes! So we were just about to put our third piece of paneling up, but then we realized we have to put all of these wires underneath. We have to feed them through and bring them out the other side, which isn't gonna be that complicated, but we thought we better do it now. Like do it sooner rather than later, otherwise you're gonna have to feed it through lots and it's probably gonna get a bit complicated. We also think we're probably gonna like figure out exactly where we want our lights to go and drill the holes for them now. Whilst we still have only a few pieces of paneling up, because. It'll just be so much easier. But yeah, two pieces are in. I know that like, that's not a lot, but like, I'm really excited. The panels, hold on a second. Is it quicker to just take the panels down? Mm. Feed them under? In the middle? Yeah. yeah. Not making good noises. Hold on, hold on. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it back in the exact same spot. There we are. Our original plan was to put all the panels up and then paint it afterwards. But after we'd put up the first two panels, we quickly realized that this perhaps wasn't the best way to go about it. So we took the panels down and painted them. Our first panel is in. The first one is always the hardest because you have to get it dead center and then everything else kind of attaches based off of this. So if this is off center, all of your other panels are gonna be off center. This next panel over that I've got on my shoulder here is where the lights are going to be. So uh, we've decided, while this is the dead center of the van, this panel over is actually going to be the center of the walkway. So we want our lights to be down there rather than straight down the center of the van. So we're gonna put this lining board up, then we can measure out exactly where we want our lights to go. Uh, so we'll take it down, drill a hole out for the lights, then we'll put it back up pre-drilled and ready to go. Because it's going to be way too much hassle putting it up, leaving it in place, and then coming back to drill the holes for the lights later. So our fan and our skylight, unfortunately, are just like slightly different dimensions. The skylight sticks out here just a little bit further than the fan does. We thought it was gonna be real simple and our next panel we could just put straight up. It would be super easy. We'd just cut one length, put it up, fix it in, and it would be all gravy. However, because the skylight juts out just that little bit, we now have to cut out where the jut out is 
to make the panel fit. Ed's marked it all out here, beautiful. So we're gonna cut out this section here. I'm gonna try to. And then it should fit, right? I hope so. Not sure how doing it with the jigsaw is gonna go. The blade on the circular saw is not quite fine enough. Um, so I'm, I think I just feel a bit more comfortable doing it with the jigsaw. Okay, we were so close, but we just gotta take out like a little bit more and then it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be perfect. <laughs> What are we doing? You turn the roof down and start again. I'm sorry, what, what, one more time, what are we doing? Oh. So, rookie errors. First time van builders right here. You can tell we're rookies because look at this distance. The wood stops here and this starts here. So these two pieces are, all too, are both too short. These need to go right up into the edge here. So you can see that looks a little bit dumb. So we do need to extend those across. We're also thinking maybe we'll go through and remove the conduit off these bits because if you look down the van, you can see it's kind of, kind of a bit wobbly. Down here, we need to do the same thing. There's a gap. So the hecky does come with like a little cover for it but I think we'd be better off if we just make these pieces just a centimeter longer to make sure they're covered. And then here, our insulation is starting to dip. So, we're just gonna take it down, fix a few things, hopefully get it back up, and then we'll call it a day. I don't wanna finish on such a low. <laughs> Look at this one. Well, I'm just starting to think that like, perhaps, we are underqualified and not the right people for this job. Perhaps. We're obviously underqualified. We're very underqualified. This we is knew like the, we were underqualified. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. Mm. And I just am lying on the floor looking at it, feeling sad. <laughs> You'll be right. It took so long to get three panels up and now we have to take them all down and cut them again. Put them back up. Look at this. Where is her resilience? Look at this. She's lying on the floor, giving up like an absolute mess. <laughs> I'm a potato. Get yourself I'm up. Mode. Come on. Mashed potato. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> mashed potato. This was our piece of insulation that was up here. In this last bit here. And so I guess when we put the piece of insulation up, we didn't apply enough pressure to it to basically stick it right up into the roof because the roof's a little bit curved, especially at the back. It only stuck to the roof here, here, and in like a few other spots. So we're gonna scrape off all of the bits of dried sticker and then stick it back up, apply a lot of pressure, leave it overnight, and then hopefully it works this time. But well, doesn't this look like a fun job? This is the second time you've done this. You want me to do it too? That's what these pliers are for. Okay. Sassy Sasquatch. <laughs> Just 
So to make matters even more complicated, we only have how much left? I don't know, we've got about a third, um, which really should be plenty. But given that this hasn't, this is the third time I'm doing this piece, um, I don't want to lay it on quite thick. This piece is doomed! Doomed! Should be fine if we can get it flat. That actually worked out all right. There was enough sicker. Good job. Now what do we do? We just need to get it flat. Yeah. And then all oh, should be good. It wasn't molding to the shape of the van. And that's probably my fault. I think having this wood on the bottom is pulling it down and causing it to stay straight. So, you know, now that I say that, that's probably the exact cause. <laughs> All right, so we've got to focus on bending the wood to shape. Okay. And then everything else should work. Fingers crossed for us. Fingers crossed. All right. That's in. We're gonna leave it to dry for the night. And hopefully it works. Fingers crossed. It'll work, it'll work, don't worry. It'll work. Yeah. It'll work. I believe in us, it'll work. It'll be good. Let's see. Gently shut the doors, shall we? <laughs> like a little gentle mouse. Okay. Good night, Van. We'll see you tomorrow and hopefully it'll work.